Let's try to find out the formula to calculate the area of a trapezium. For our discussion, we have taken two diagrams. A, B, C, D, this is one trapezium. And A, B, C, D, this is another trapezium. You can clearly spot the difference between these two diagrams, right? Okay. Now, let's say that this length, these two, A, B and C, D, these are two parallel sides of this trapezium. The line segment A, B is parallel to line segment C, D. Okay. Now, let's say that the length of this line segment A, B, this A, B is A and the length of this line segment C, D is B. Okay. Now, if we take this vertex B and if we draw a perpendicular line from this vertex on the line segment CD of the trapezium, then let's say that it intersects at a point at the point L. Okay. Now let's say that let's take this height that is BL, the length of this height as let's say that this is equal to H. Let's say that this is equal to H. So this is H. Now if BL is H and BL is making 90 degree with this CD, then don't you think that this AD will also be equal to H? Because this is 90 degree on this line, line segment and it's also making 90 degree on this line segment. Therefore, these two will be parallel and equal in length. So line segment BL is equal to H. Therefore, AD will also be of length H only. Okay, now if we take this line segment DL from here to here, line segment DL, the length of this line segment as let's say that this is, uh, what can we take? We can take M and let's say that this CL or LC, the length of this line segment LC, this is M, this LC is equal to N, this is LC is N. So remember. AB is A, CD is B, this height BL is H, therefore AD will also be equal to H and we have taken DL as M and LC as N. Okay, so we have all the measurements. Now let's discuss the formula. Let's say that, okay, so if you have to find the area of this trapezium, then you have actually two shapes here. One is the rectangular shape and another one is the triangular shape here, right? So the area of trapezium, the area of trapezium will be equal to area of the rectangle that is ABLD plus area of this triangle, right? Area of this triangle, okay. Let's talk about this area of rectangle. So this is our rectangle. Now the area of a rectangle is given by length multiplied by breadth. Length multiplied by breadth. This is the formula to calculate the area of a rectangle. What's length here? In this case, we have M. So write it as M. What's breadth here? We have taken as H. So M multiplied by H, right, plus area of a triangle. What's the formula to calculate the area of a triangle? That is half base multiplied by height. Okay, so half base multiplied by height means what? Half base is what we have taken as M. Height is what we have taken as H because this is perpendicular on this in this triangle, this will be the height, right? Now, you have H here, you have H here. Let's take this common out. So this is H, then M plus one by two multiplied by N, right? This is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. You have to remember all these properties. Okay, now, here you have H, if you take the LCM, you get 2M plus N, right? If you take the LCM, divided by 2. Now this is H, 
and if we write this 2m as m plus n and then you have n here so plus n and then divided by 2. Now if we take this m plus n together that is this length dl plus this length lc dl plus this is what dl plus lc right so what's dl plus lc dl plus lc is what dl the length of these lines two segments will be equal to don't you think it will be equal to this b that is cd dl plus lc is what cd if you want to break this line segment into two part it will be dl plus lc so dl plus lc that is m plus n will be equal to m n n r the lengths or the measurements of these two line segments will be equal to will be equal to b so if you put here b so this becomes h multiplied by m plus b that is cd the length measurement of the line segment cd divided by 2 okay now this is m pay attention here this is m this length is m and this is a rectangle therefore this measurement that is the measurement of dl will be equal to measurement of aby because it's a rectangle this is the length of this rectangle therefore this will be equal to this the line segment dl will be equal to the line segment ab because it's a rectangle right and we know that dl is what the measurement we have taken as m and this m will be therefore equal to what ab what's ab here we have taken this as a ab is a so m is equal to actually a let's put here h multiplied by a plus b by 2 so if you want to write it as like this this becomes half multiplied by h multiplied by a plus b right you can write this expression as this one any problem right now what does this tell us this tells us that this is actually half multiplied by height of the trapezium height of the trapezium then multiplied by what is this a plus b so a plus b means what this is a this whole a b is a and b means what c d right this is basically what a b plus c d a b plus c d that is the sum of the opposite sides that are parallel parallel opposite sides sum of the parallel opposite sides so height multiplied by sum of the parallel sides this will be your formula half multiplied by height of the trapezium multiplied by sum of the opposite sides and this formula will be true for any trapezium i'll show you here in this case also you'll get the same result so here you have a b c d let's say that again this is a b right this is a b so let's take the line segment a b as the length measurement of this line segment a b as a this is c d so the measurement of this line segment is b right let's draw the two perpendicular in this case you can draw two perpendiculars so one from here let's say that this is l intersection point is l and let's draw another perpendicular line here in this case this is let's name this intersection point as n okay now if we take this height as h if we say that the measurement of this line segment bl is h okay now in this case since ab is parallel to cd and these two are actually perpendicular line segments on cd from a and b therefore don't you think that 
the line segment B, the measurement of the line segment BL will be equal to the measurement of the line segment AN because these are two parallel and drawn from A and B, right? So perpendicular and drawn from A and B. So the measurement of the lines, line segment BL is equal to H will be equal to the measurement of this line segment AN. So this will also be H. Okay, now let's say that this CL or LC, the measurement of the line segment LC is, let's take it as M. So this is M. And in this case, let's take the measurement of this line segment ND here. Let's take this one as ND as N. So this is M. Again, you can take any variable. So we have taken this, uh, the measurement of this height as H and the measurement of this line segment as M and of this line segment as M. Okay. Now, if this is AB is A, this AB is A, so it's like we have what we discussed here on the same way, this N, the length of or the measurement of line segment NL will also be A. Why? Because these two are now parallel and this shape is actually a rectangle, is a rectangle, right? So NL, the measurement of the line segment NL will also be equal to A. So you are ready with these, with this data and we'll use it here. Now in this case, the area of trapezium is what? Area of this triangle plus area of this rectangle plus area of this triangle, right? So if we take it whole as area, then this is, let's say that this is A1 area, this is A2 area and this is A3 area. A1 plus A2 plus A3. Okay, now here, what's A1? Is A1 is what? The area of this triangle A and D. Area of this triangle A and D. Triangle A and D. N is perpendicular, therefore half multiplied by base. What's base here? The measurement of the base is N multiplied by what's the measurement of the height that is H. So this is half multiplied by N multiplied by H plus what's the measurement of this triangle that is A2. The measurement of this triangle A2 is sorry this rectangle is length what's length length is a right a multiplied by breadth what's breadth that is h for this rectangle it's the measurement of its breadth is h so a multiplied by h okay what is the area of this triangle so the area of triangle b l c that is perpendicular at, that makes 90 degree at L. So this area is actually half multiplied by base that is M multiplied by this height that is H, right? So plus half multiplied by M multiplied by height that is H. Okay, now you have H here you have h here, h here and h here. Let's take this common. So this is h half multiplied by n plus a plus half multiplied by m. Which property have we used here? We have used distributive property of multiplication or addition. So this is h. If you take the LCM, so if you take the LCM, here you will get 2 and this becomes n plus 2a plus m, right? Okay, now again, let's write it as h n plus a plus a, 
two a can be written as a plus a, and this is plus m, and this is divided by two. From here you get h. Now, if you take these together, that is, let's group them together. I'm going to write it like this: n plus a plus m plus a. I have just rearranged it, right? And this is divided by two. This becomes h. Now, if you look at these three, that is n plus a plus m. That is n this measurement plus a this measurement plus m that is this measurement. So d n plus n l plus l c makes what the whole line segment CD or DC, whatever you want to call it. So this whole. And what is the measurement of this line segment CD? We have taken here as B. So basically N plus A plus M is equal to B. So this is B plus A. So B plus A, we can write it as A plus B. A plus B divided by two. Okay, now same, you are getting actually the same thing. Half, you can write it as half multiplied by H multiplied by A plus B. Half multiplied by H means what height of this trapezium multiplied by A plus B, that is this measurement the measurement of this line segment AB and the measurement of this line segment that is sum of the parallel sides, the sum of the lengths of the these two parallel measurements of these two parallel sides. So sum of the parallel sides. This formula is exactly the same what we discussed here. So for any trapezium, if you know the measurements of the opposite sides, parallel sides, right? The measurements of the parallel sides, and if you know the height, simply put the values here and you'll get the area of that trapezium. Half multiplied by height, multiplied by sum of parallel sides. Height is always between the two opposite sides, okay? That's the height. Height multiplied by sum of parallel sides divided by 2, that will give you the area of a trapezium.